Good morning. Um, the idea of this video is to give you a glimpse into a day in my life. It's not that glamorous, it's not that exciting, it's not meant to be. This is hopefully to give you an idea of what you can expect if you were to come and study in Sao Paulo too. I don't really have a morning routine per se, uh, but the one constant is coffee. I'm gonna bike into uni. I've got a class that starts at 9.20. That class is international marketing. It's taught in English. One thing that's different about all the classes here is no big lecture theaters, no 200 students. I think there's probably about 20 people in my class. That class will finish around 11 a.m. and my next class won't be till 2 p.m. so I'll head home for lunch, maybe catch up on a little bit of homework, then it'll be back to uni in the afternoon uh, where I've got drama class which is taught in Portuguese. It's a lot of fun, great way to learn how to express yourself in the language. I haven't really got too much planned for the weekend uh, but if you're interested to see what I'm getting up to in my free time here. Maybe go and check out uh, Sophie's post on this blog. She'll be showing a little bit more of what we do for fun. Fundação Armando Alvarez Penteado is one of Brazil's most prestigious academic institutions. The campus is also home to a really well-known uh, theater and museum. So this uni is named after this guy. He was born to one of Sao Paulo's most well-to-do families and he developed a passion for the arts while studying in Europe. When he returned to Sao Paulo, he dreamed of opening an art school and a museum. But he never got to see that dream come true. It was actually his wife who started the Armando Alvarez Penteado Foundation the year that he died. And it's that foundation that became the university we know today. And having its history rooted in the arts, you can still feel that today. Fundação Armado Alvarez is really well known for its fashion and cinema and arts courses. But they also offer courses in everything from international relations, law, and even Portuguese for gringos like me. 